I'm, I'm Dr. Vamsey Contrella. I'm a board certified orthopedic spine surgeon here at Specialty Orthopedics in Gainesville, Georgia. And today we're here to talk about sacroiliac joint uh, dysfunction and pain that may come from the sacroiliac joint. So the anatomy of the SI joint is at the very base of your lumbar spine is where we meet the sacrum, which is this structure right in the middle. This joint is stabilized from the front and back by various ligaments that provide stability to the joint. So there are many various causes to sacroiliac joint pain. It can be due to degenerative reasons uh, by aging alone. It could be due to uh, instability created by trauma. It could be post-pregnancy. Oftentimes we do see that in the postpartum period, there's increased laxity or looseness of the ligaments. In our practice, up to 43% of patients who've had a prior history of lumbar spine surgery, such as fusion, will show evidence of SI joint-based pain. Some of the things that we do to help diagnose SI joint pain is ask the patient, have them point, where is their pain? Oftentimes, they can identify a spot in their low back near that dimple that we often have on the left and right side of our back. They often point in that, in that space saying it hurts here. That's a classic sign. This sign is typically called the Fortin Finger sign, um, and it's identified in the low back. There are additional ways to increase the diagnostic accuracy of SI joint dysfunction. These include injections of steroid. This is a specific injection delivered under x-ray or CT guidance into the sacroiliac joint. Once that is done, that provides us a significant amount of information from a diagnostic and or therapeutic standpoint. As in, if you do get relief from this type of injection for more than 70 or 75%, then we have a high diagnostic accuracy for the diagnosis. It can be therapeutic as well, as in you might not need further treatment. However, if the relief is not more than a couple hours or a couple days, you may be a candidate for conservative management or a, even a second injection. And we have gone through a history, we've gone through a physical examination, we've gone through injections that suggest to us that your pain has come from your SI joint. We first try some conservative management. There are various options that we can choose from that help relieve and improve pain that comes from the SI joint. These can include medications by mouth or topically. These can include physical therapy to the lumbar spine of the SI joint. This can also include pelvic belt stabilization or bracing that can help secure the sacroiliac joint. After injections and medication therapy for at least a six month period of time, if you're still having pain, a minimally invasive solution called SI joint fusion by SI bone, a specific implant uh, that is designed and patented uh, to fuse the SI joint, it is a triangular 3D printed implant that is fixated across the sacrum and the ilium to hold it in place. Up to three implants can be placed across this joint to provide additional stability and to provide rigidity to this area and to help biologically fuse this joint. So in my practice and in my setting here, uh, post-operative outcomes for SI joint fusion or stabilization is upward of 92%, as in many patients would have this procedure again and are pleased with their results. In the post-op setting, we typically see our patients again at the two-week mark, at the six-week mark, and at the three-month mark. Beyond that, we will follow them up to a year as needed, but oftentimes we find that people have returned to their activities of daily living, their work, their function, their hobbies, the sports that they enjoy, the activities that they want to participate with their family. We really see a significant satisfaction with this procedure. We're happy to provide that service here. As an orthopedic spine surgeon here, I'm, I'm pleased to be a part of this practice at Specialty Orthopedics in Gainesville, Georgia, to be able to offer this service to our community, to a community that is suffering from back, leg, hip pathology. It might not always be the lumbar spine, it might not be the hip joint, and maybe it's not the SI joint, but is it being considered? Is it being thought about? In our practice here, we're thinking about all these things. So I welcome you to my practice and I look forward to seeing you.